Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today it's Tuesday, I'm on my way to work and this is another walking to work vlog. And as you can see, I'm on the promenade, just close to North Pier. I'm going to swing the camera over to here because all the scaffolding has gone. The fencing around the promenade side is still there. It's got a nice sign up there saying Foreshores Hotel. Let's zoom in a little bit and take a look down there. And the building's looking good. Got the tram coming, so I've just got to get a careful look, keep an eye on the tram tracks as I cross. The Foreshores Hotel there. I've been calling it the Ibis. I think it's still called the Ibis. It used to be called the Clifton, didn't it? Or did it? I'm going past. for that paramedic car to go past because I wasn't sure where it would turn or go. You can see the new tram tracks here veering off up Talbot Road. And I did do an update of the new hotel and tram tracks just a couple of days ago so we're not going to be going up there again today. Let's get a look at the front of that new Four Shores Hotel. There we go. It's looking good. We can look behind us, see down the promenade looking south. Then a look at North Pier. And then turn around and gonna look north again. So let's cross over back here. It's on the pond for a bit. You can see the metropole there. All the scaffolding's gone from the metropole as well. a good look at Cenotaph from there. You see all the remembrance wreaths on the lower steps. I was working on Sunday morning. You can take a good look at that. And let's get a good look at the Metropole as we walk past. You can hear another tram coming, that is the pink tram. I've just turned around and I can see it. There you go, that is the pink tram, it's stopped there. There we can see the Metropole. Yes. Now I said I wasn't going to go up Talbot Road or past the new tram tracks development but I've just realised I do have to go to Sainsbury's on the way to work. I've got to get a couple of things so I am going to have to go that way but I am going to take us on a different route so you'll get to see different things. I'm going to do a full walk around the cenotaph so you can see everything and then I'm going to head up Queen Street I think. I have got Queen Street on my Streets of Blackpool series. In fact it pretty 
pretty much think I've done it twice. I did it once when I very first started doing Streets of Blackpool around 2018 and I think I did a more recent one if my memory serves me correctly. So let's just get across this road and these tram tracks. There you go, you've got a good view of the pink tram going past. Across here, stand on this teeny little pocket island here. And I go across the road. This is where Queen Street begins, folks. But this bit actually is Queen Square. You can zoom in on the sign there. So you can see the sign there it says Queen Square. There's also the sign telling you that the railway station is that way. I remember when this was done up and it was supposed to be one of those like European type entertainment spaces where people would go to their various places of entertainment but also socially probably spill out onto this nice square area and just basically have a really nice, friendly party atmosphere. So yeah, I think it's a nice little square. Down there, we've got the Strand, which runs right through Queen Street. It runs down there and continues on the last little bit down there. I do have the Strand on the Streets of Blackpool series. But we're just going to keep going up here I'm going to walk all the way up until I get to Sainsbury's and I've got to grab some shopping and then probably have to hustle on to work yeah I don't get to come down here that often yeah, the slug and lettuce great name for an eatery a bar Deputies. But Sherlock's there that's a great facade. Right, look at the front of that building, that looks brilliant. That property there needs a bit of TLC, as you can see. Big window there. That was all done up and made into a nice apartment. That would be a great big window. It would let in such a lot of light. As I cross Abingdon Street now, you can see the old job centre on one side, all closed up, and Central Library on the other side. Library used to be one of my very favourite places as a kid. So yeah, let's continue on up Green Street. You see the back of home bargains there to the right when that used to be Woolworths you could actually go out the back way that back door was both an entrance and an exit for the public at some point they closed it off presumably to just limit shoplifters I would imagine oh, here we've got the front of the Grundy Art Gallery this looks brilliant, look at the lights. I do like colour and neon. And this looks really good, look at that. And there you go, just in case you're interested in coming down. There's your opening hours. And then you can see the back of home bargains as we go past there. And even though I filmed here just a couple of days ago, I'm going to finish with a view of this new Calvert Square 
Dixon Road, Queen Street, High Street development. And I've never really looked at it from this point in Queen Street because when I film from that gate the view doesn't seem to be quite as good but I think from here you can get a better view of the hotel. You can see work is going on there now because it is the daytime. Let's just zoom in a little bit and take a look. There you go, look at that. Perfect. Just the best view to end the video on. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, maybe subscribe. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.